Hey folks, it's Dave back again, and today I'm working with the Stratomatic Hockey Utility Program. I really love this thing. In fact, this is how I play uh, Stratomatic Hockey when I'm alone and I am playing with the cards, okay, rather than the PC game. So first things first, you do have to have the cards, and I'm going to show you how to enter the teams and the players so you can set up and get going playing this game. So what we're going to do first is come over here and go to File new league so we're going to call this the 80 finals i'm going to play the new york islanders and the philadelphia flyers in the 1980 finals so we'll go 79 80 f just to call it something games per team uh i've never really run into an issue with this part of the setup i would think you'd, you'd want to put more games in than you would need um so just for Intensive purposes, we're going to put in seven because we could go seven games in our series. If you were setting up a tournament, you might want to figure out how many teams in the tournament and the max amount of games in that tournament and put that in here. I've never really run into an issue with this, but if you didn't put in enough games, you might not be able to schedule more than the allotted game. So to be safe, put in more games than you need. So we're going to name the new season 80 finals, and the league's files are created. Now I need to go and open that league because it doesn't open it automatically. So we're going to go open league. And where are we here? Uh, 80 finals. So we're going to open that up. So now we have the makings of our league. So what we need to do is edit our league information. Okay. So we don't actually need to do that. It's all here. 80 finals. So that's okay. So let's cancel out of that. Let's get on to our teams. So we can put in conferences, divisions, and then teams. So um, I might just do the one conference. I'm just going to call it uh, playoffs, you can call it whatever you want. We'll add it. And now in the playoffs conference, in our division, we'll just call it finals. I mean, you could call it Campbell. You could call it, you know, east and west. You could, you know, depending what teams you're playing, north and south. But um, just for me, uh, this is what I'm going to name it here. So we're going to add. Now I'm going to add a team in the finals here. So we're going to call it Philadelphia Flyers. Philadelphia, add. And now I'm going to add another team. It's going to go right over. New. Uh, where's my? It's getting late here. Sorry about that. Islanders. And that is NYI. We're going to add team. So now we get two teams ready to go at it. So if we go to our standings, you'll see that we have standings for the playoffs and the team. It's Philadelphia Flyers and New York Islanders. So I have my teams entered. What I need to do next is go to my players. So as you can see, I got Flyers and I have Islanders, and I don't have any players on any team yet. So that's what I'm going to do right now. First things I like to do is the goalies. So Glenn, Fresh, and this is where you're going to need the cards. Active, Adam's a goalie. So Glenn Rush is added. So I'm going to take this card and put it off to the side. My next goalie is Billy Smith. He's active, and I'm going to add him. And I'm going to take this card and put it off to the side. And I'm just going to get, I'm going to do the players. I'm not going to do them all, but I'll give you an idea. So, Anders Keller. He is active. Now, on the card, he is a left wing, a right wing, and a center. So, I can add all of that to the card and add. So, now Anders Keller is into the game. The next guy is Bob Battle. That's not Battleship Bob. That's just Bob Nystrom. I was thinking Battleship Kelly on the Flyers. He is active. He is a right wing only. And this is important here. When you check this off, when you go to make your lines, it'll only appear in the columns of the positions that are checked. So if, if he cannot play center or left wing, if you only check right wing. Now, you can go back and edit this at any time you want, but initially you need to get it the, the, uh, the positions correct because that will affect your lines. Brian Trotje. He is active, and he's a center only. And I'm going to add. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the rest of the players. I'm going to pause this. So I don't have to watch this. And I'm going to put in the rest of the players, and then I'll come back with a fly. So hang on one second. 
Okay, I'm done entering the Islanders into the edit players box here. As you can see, I have my two goalies and I have all my players. Now, these are all the guys I have cards for. Now, at any time, you can go back and you can edit anything you want here. But what I've done is I've done you know, entered the players and put their position and checked off their position that are on the cards. Again, if you want somebody to play another position, you need to check that here. Otherwise, that won't work in the when you're doing your lines. So now, let's go to Philadelphia. So Philadelphia... We're going to start with our goalies. A little Phil Mir. And he is active. And we'll add Phil Mir. And then the other goalie I have is Pete Peters. Oh, Pete Peters. And we'll add him. So now let's go to our players. And now we have Battleship Bob Kelly. So we're going to come over here. Bob Kelly. He is active. He's a left wing and a right wing. We'll add him. And I'll do one more, and then we'll skip ahead. So now we have Brian Prop, and he is a left wing only. Add him. So I'm going to pause again, put in the rest of the flyers, and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and I have all the flyers entered now. So if you see, I go to the Islanders. I have all my players and my goalies. Everybody's got a position. Everybody's active. If I go to my flyers, it's the same thing. So we have the players entered now. So let's close out. <clears throat> so now let's edit our lines. So we're going to go to edit lines. So we'll start with the flyers. And I got my cheat sheet here. I believe this came with my Stratomatic cards. And it just gives you an idea who played where. And you can really you know, put whoever you want anywhere. It's your game. Do what you want. But I'll, I'll try to get as close to this as I can. So let's go to my offensive lines. So what you need to do is name the line. So this is forward line one. Line one. And on line one for the flyers, it looks like they had Holmgren. Linsman and prop. So Holmgren, Linsman, and prop. So Linsman will be the center. Holmgren, Linsman, and prop. So that's going to be right there. We'll just put two and two out here to start. And now we're going to add. So you can see it comes down here. We have line one. So now we need to set up line two. Line two is Clark, Leach, and Barber. So we're going to do... Clark, Leach, and Barber. So that is line two. And again, if you want to change up these, you can. I'm going to add line two. Go to line three. And line three was Hill, McLeish, and Ververgat. Hill, McLeish, and Ververgat. So we'll get McLeish. We got Hill. And we got Ververgat. And again, you can put whoever on any line that you want. And we're going to add. Now, if you want to do a power play line, PP1, you can do that as well. So let's just say for the power play line, we want Bobby Clark out there, and we want Brian Prop on the power play, along with, say, Linsman on the right side. Okay, whatever you want to do. So now we've added a power play line. Same thing for shorthanded, SH1. So we're going to keep this open for the center. And let's say we want uh, Al Hill and Bridgman. Or Vervagat, let's say. They're going to kill the power play. We're going to drop that down here. We want to lock down a little bit. Let's just say. Now we add. So now you got line one. One, two, three. Power play one, shorthanded one. And you can create as many different lines as you want. And when you go into the game... They'll be in there to um, to select. And it's just a drop-down, too. It changes lines really nice. So this is a lot of work initially, but once the teams are in, you're in, and you can play them forever in this particular season. So let's go on defensive now. So defense, line one. Line one on defense for the Flyers. Well, I'm not really sure because it doesn't say here. So I'm just going to say, uh, let's put Jimmy Watson and um, Bob Daly. All right, and then I'm going to do line two. And I'm going to say Barnes and Buzniak. Okay. And again, you could go in here and put a power play line one in there. So let's say McLeish played the point on the power play because he had a point on his card. He can play the point on the power play. And then Ben Wilson. So now you get your power play. And you can add a shorthanded and the whole bit. <clears throat> so that's how you would do the lines for each team. And then you come over here and do the same for the New York Islanders. 
you would set up your lines. And you can call them whatever you want. I just I prefer line one, two, and three, and then PP1 and SH1. And I do that for my offense and my defense. So that's how you would do editing the lines. To put a game in, let's go to our schedule. And so if you wanted to be realistic, you could go back in time to 1980. Now, I don't know the exact date that these games were played, so I'm just going to guess that they were played in late April, early May. Let's go to May. So let's just say game one was May 1st, 1980. And that would be at Philadelphia, right? Because the Islanders won at home in game six. So let's just say game one is in Philadelphia on May 1st. So now we add. So now we have a game to play. And you would do that for all seven games, however you wanted to do. If you wanted to just do one game, you could do that too. But now you get at least a game on the schedule. So now if you wanted to go play a league game, you would go right here. This is the game you would play. So you do have to enter games in on the schedule. So that's a quick look on starting a league up. So here's our league information. Here are our teams. We just have our conferences that we set up, divisions in the two teams. And you can add as many of these as you want. I showed you how to add players and goalies to both teams. And then lastly, we added a game to the schedule. And I'll probably add a few more on here because I plan on playing this, this seven-game series out myself. So, And then you go over here. When you're done, you close the league. And that is that. So anyway, folks, that's a look at entering teams in uh, setting it up for the Stratomatic Hockey Utility. Maybe at another point I'll do a, uh, a game video. But I do have some game play up on my channel if you want to go back and see some of the games that I played using the Hockey Utility. But that's kind of the basic setup of entering teams, entering players, setting your lines up, and creating a schedule. So I'm Dave. I hope you liked this video. We'll talk to you later. Let's get some hockey back soon, shall we? Bye-bye.